We found an interesting hyperbolic planetary gear set on Thingiverse and thought it would be a great part to compare the performance of SLS to FDM. Stay tuned to find out more. First, we 3D printed the gear components using the most common SLS material, PA12, on our Syntratec S2 and assembled them with the necessary screws. We then ordered the same parts printed with one of the most common FDM materials, PLA, from a print service provider. Once the hyperbolic gears were running smoothly, we came up with the idea of using the bench drill in our workshop to put them to the test. These gears are designed to run steadily, but not at high speeds. With the lowest RPM of our drill at 490, this would definitely put the pressure on. We fixed the gears onto the work surface, connected the center element to the drill with a hex key and began our test. After just about 6 seconds, the FDM part stopped working, with the drill only spinning loosely. The SLS part, however, continued to spin and after 5 minutes of no change, we decided to stop the test. Let's take a closer look at what happened with the FDM piece. In slow motion, you can see that after just a few seconds, small particles of PLA break off and fly away. Due to the uneven surfaces, the strong vibrations start to move the side gears downwards until there's no more wiggle room. At this point, we suspect that the inner connecting rod has melted due to the increasing frictional heat, causing the gears to jam. Unfortunately, after the test, the gear set is no longer usable and completely stuck. By comparison, the SLS gear set seems to run much more steadily. But then, after around 14 seconds, we noticed one of the screws loosening and falling off and even a second one shortly after. Interestingly enough, the part remained somewhat stable. We even measured the temperature after about 3 minutes and didn't notice any significant change. After 5 minutes, the gear set was still running perfectly fine with no visible signs of wear. But we were not satisfied with that result. We wanted to see how far we could go with the PA12 part. To really push the hyperbolic gear to its limits, we decided to increase the speed from 490 revolutions per minute to a whopping 1200 RPM, more than double the original speed. With proper safety measures, we started the drill again. After around 6 seconds, the forces were too much for the gear to handle and it broke. Let's rewind and look at what happened again in slow motion. We can see that the strong vibrations caused the same problem seen previously with the FDM part. The right gear begins to move downwards until it gets stuck and the friction causes it to melt. With that gear jamming, the entire set rapidly collapses shortly after. In summary, the PA12 gear set survived more than twice the rotation speed compared to the PLA part. Quite an impressive result. What did you think of this test? Would you like to see something similar in the future? Let us know in the comments and thank you for watching.